What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create room finish schedule. So this will gonna be the last topic for the schedule. And you will notice here on my project browser on my 02 floor, which is my current uh, view, you will notice here that on this room, I will call this uh, 206 because I'm going to base it based on the door tags so this will gonna be my uh room 206 207 208 and 209 as you can see there is no room assigned yet in this uh rooms so as we create our room finish schedule we are also going to create rooms for these four rooms okay so let's get this started and as you know to create a schedule, so from the project browser, all you have to do is to look for the schedules. Just right click that and then select new schedule quantities. Just click this one and then let's look for rooms. Rooms and then I'm gonna call this room finish schedule, schedule building components and the pace is new construction. Just select here, okay. Now for the scheduled fields that I want to be included to my uh, schedule, of course, I want to include there the number of the room. Just double click that, double click also the name. I want the name and all the finishes like the base finish, ceiling finish, floor finish, and wall finish. And let's say I also want to include the area and the comments as well as the level. Okay, so for this exercise, so after we create the room finish schedule, we are going to filter it, okay, so that it will show only the uh, finishes for level two, okay? So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so let's select here, okay, so that we can see our room finish schedule. So this is now how it looks like, okay? So what I'm gonna do next is, as you can see here, I'm gonna click the base finish hold my left click and then I'm going to drag all the way to the wall finish. So like what we have learned on our last video, we can group that by clicking here the group headers icon. Just click that and then I'm going to call this uh, finishes, enter. And then since I already called this finishes, I'm going to delete now here the word finish. All right. Let's remove this one. <clears throat> Enter. Okay, that's it. Okay, and then like what I have said, if you notice on my 02 floor, we don't have room yet assigned to these four rooms. So we will be doing that it here instead of going to the architecture and then creating a room. Okay, so we are going to use our room finish schedule. So we are going to add more rows here. So to do that, from the rows panel, I'm going to select insert data row. I want to add four rows. So I'm going to click this four times. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are now the rooms. So let's say for this one, I want to call this as the lounge. And then this one will going to be the copy print area. And then this one will gonna be the drafting room. And then the last one will gonna be the, let's say, computer lab. Okay, enter. And then we are now going to apply these rooms that I have created inside our floor plan here, inside these four rooms. So to do that, I'm going to select the room here. And then after that, Instead of creating a new room, I'm going to click the drop down arrow and then you will now see here the rooms that we have created. Okay, you can also create your uh, room like this. So like you create first the schedule and then you create all the rows and then name it and then after that you can apply that to your floor plan, which is what I am trying to do. Okay. So let's say for this room here, so that's gonna be my lunch. So I'm gonna select your lunch and then I'm going to click here. That's it. Okay, and then I'm going to select here modify. Why? Because I want this to be renamed. So instead of 10, 
I'm going to call this 206. Click 206, enter. Okay, and then let's place again. So let's create a room. And then we are going to select. This is going to be my copy print room. And then I'm going to just continue creating it. So this is the, this will going to be the drafting room. And then last is my computer lab, which is this one here. There you go. And then let's select here, modify, and then let's change the name. So this is going to be my 209, um, 208, and then 207. There you go. Right? And then if we are going back to our room finish schedule, you will notice that it's now already updated, which is, there you go. So it's now updated here. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is like what I have said earlier. So let's say, for example, I only want to show on my room finish schedule the second floor room finishes. So I'm just going to rename this first. So I'm going to call this... Um, Second floor, room finish schedule, or I'll just make it to uh, second. Okay. Right. And then let's us now modify our schedule. Since this is my second floor room finish schedule, I only want to show here uh, level two, right? So to do that, you need to go to the properties because we need to edit our schedule. So let's go back again to our schedule and then this time let's go to the filter. So I'm going to filter it by what? Guess what? So if you say level, that's correct. So we are going to filter it by level that is equal to 0 to. So of course if you want to create first floor room finish schedule, you need to select here entry level or 0 3 if you want third floor. But uh, I want the zero to floor, and then I will um, go to the appearance. No, not the appearance, but format. Why? Because I'm going to select the label here. I'm going to hide that field. I do not want to show the label here since I already call this second floor. So no need for me to show the level here. It's redundant already. So just hide it. And then I will select now here, OK, to see how it looks like. And there you go. So it's now only showing my uh, level 2. And then as you can see, it's not arranged based on the number. So we are going to sort it. OK, because as you can see here, it's 216, 234, and then 233. So it's not arranged based on the number. So let's modify that by going to the sorting and grouping. And then let's sort it by, guess what, number. Okay, and then if you want to include the total, you can select grand totals. And that's it. So let's select here OK again. And there you go. If you move all the way down, so you can see here the grand total. Okay, and then if we are going back to our format here on our edit, let's see the area here. So here, instead of no calculation, I'm going to select here uh, calculate totals. And then select OK. And then you will now see here the total of that. There you go. Of course, this is now the right time. You, you can now add what are the uh, finishes of these particular uh, rooms here. So you need to specify here on the finishes. Okay. And then if you want to put a comment, you can put now the comment there. But of course, I'm not going to do that because it will take a lot of time. But at least you know already how to create your room finish schedule and how to filter your schedule and add more data rows. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.